you asked for it, here it is. A detailed walkthrough of the custom Sherman seat itself, the platform in which I built to set the Suron seat on, and a closer look at the clamps and the whole makeup. So as many of you have asked, and I have replied in the comments on the previous video that kind of unveiled this to you, I am putting together a 3D model that I can share with the community. I'm not trying to profit off of this. Uh, I'm not gonna make them and sell them, but I will put in the time and effort to, at the very least, get you a foundation in which you can then build upon, print it, make something similar to what I did, or, uh, or improve it. All right, there have been many guesses and questions as to what the base that the Suron seat is sitting on is made out of. And I will tell you that for this particular version, it is made of wood. It's actually oak. There are several pieces sandwiched together, cut in a very specific way. And then the outer piece that you see right here is, well, not this stuff, but the outer piece that you see right here is actually a quarter inch thick piece of uh, finishing pine or trim that you could even use within the house that has been sanded down. And then I used some wood putty to fill in any of the gaps and I took it around a grinder to really give the appearance the most symmetrical uniform shape that I can with making it out of wood. Uh, after which it had several layers of primer and paint put on it to bring you what you have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, turn it ever so slowly so you can get a close look at this. So hopefully this is able to answer some of the questions you have. Let's look at the bottom here, okay? This piece around the front, as you already know, is just foam, it's just for looks. I thought it kind of gave it a little bit of a bender look. Bring it on, baby! <sighs> Many of you still continue to comment that the seat is the wrong way because it's sitting, actually here, because it sits just like this on the Sherman. As you can see in the other video, there is a purpose for this. Uh I think that for quick stopping and for quick going, it's right how it should be. Because it get, it's almost like a western saddle, right? If you're doing off-road, it gives you a little a point of contact where you can grab onto. When you sit down on the Sherman and you're actually accelerating forward, it turns ever so slightly, not much, maybe like that, because the Sherman doesn't lean too, too far while you're accelerating. But that in itself is a much uh, less aggressive angle than when the Sherman is turned off, and it serves a purpose. So if you have your body here and you're sitting on this and you're accelerating, it almost gives you something to push against, if you will. And if you were to hit a bump or something, you don't have to worry about sliding off. Additionally, you have a handle that you can hold on to while you are standing, going into the seated position, or vice versa. It also acts as a brake, so if you need to grab onto something to brake quick, you can do so. So for everyone that thinks it's the wrong way, it is not the wrong way. If you don't like the orientation in which I have it, that's fine. Keep your negative comments to yourself. Now that that's out of the way, for the clamps. As you can see here, they are mounted from the top going down into the bottom, and they can literally just be opened by turning this wrong way and open it. Turn this one and open it. Same with the back. Pop it on, down. It's hard to do this when you're looking backwards. <laughs> Now I have already begun designing version two of this. I am currently working on integrating an otter box into the center of it. So it's just gonna be one of the small ones. I believe it's uh, the outer dimensions are eight inches by five inches by two inches. Um, and so the inner is gonna be just uh, slightly less. But the box is nearly indestructible. Uh, it's completely waterproof. And what I will be doing very likely is taking this area that you see here out. There will be some support structures in there, but then the seat will actually have uh, two sections. It'll be separated in the middle. And so there will be a latching mechanism on the front and the rear. 
and the OtterBox itself will also act as a latch. So if it all works out the way I have planned, you will literally be able to unlatch your OtterBox and lift the seat up either direction. I'm not quite sure yet. And you'll have uh, enough storage for, say, um, a little battery bank, uh, USB charger, your phone, your wallet, probably all of those things, your keys, just a little bit of storage for, for you to put some stuff in. I think it'll be neat. Also, this gap back here in the back was originally intended to have the small ABS box that is on the fender of the Sherman set back up in here, and I was even going to add additional lights to it. And they would act as turn signals and brake lights, uh, and they were going to be functioning the same way that the factory Sherman tail light works. I may still integrate that later, but as for now, I, I decided against it. Um, one thing that I don't care for about this, the width of the seats. Let's see if we can see this. So in my opinion, it's just slightly too wide. Your legs uh, are hitting it here. So also in version two, before anything is mounted, I'm going to take my heat gun on the highest setting and I'm going to attempt to alter the shape of the seat ever so slightly. So I will get it very hot, wear some welding gloves, and then attempt to bend it in so that it actually has more of a bent in area here on either side. It'll feel so, so much more comfortable. Uh, I even got the same exact feedback from a couple of the other riders that got a chance to try it out. So again, I am working on the 3D model. I'll give you a little peek of it right now. I'm hoping to have that available soon. Once it is available, I'll share it with the community. That's about all I can say about this, guys. It is a sweet seat. I really, really like it. And I'd like to see what you guys can do with this design once I share the model, improve upon it. Let's, let's work together to make the best Sherman seat possible. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, entertaining. Maybe my little rant that I went off in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Let me know down in the comments what you might like to see me do to my Sherman next, and I will catch you next time. Peace.